Hi, Blood Talk fans. Today's topic is incompatible cross match. This is a suggestion from you guys. I will talk about what can we do and what does it mean when you have an incompatible cross match. We will also talk about types of cross match and what it means for each one if it becomes incompatible. Without further ado, let's get into it. When do we perform cross match? Before giving a unit of red blood cells to patients, we would perform a cross match test. This test is to ensure that the unit is compatible with the patients. There are different types of cross match, which we will go over them in more detail in a little bit. What products are we referring to in cross match? In general, when we say cross match, we are referring to cross matching a unit of red blood cells. However, it's not exclusively referring to a unit of red cells. We can also cross match platelet for a patient with platelet refractory problems. What do we do when we cross match? We'll cross match donor red blood cells and patient plasma to check for ABO compatibility. If the reaction is zero or non reactive, that means the unit is compatible and we can assign it to a patient. If the unit is incompatible, we cannot use that unit without further investigations or approval. And incompatible reactions could range from rough to full plus, or even hemolyze. Hemolyze is also a sign of incompatible. We will talk about what we would do in case of incompatibles in a minute. Cross match methods are as follow. Number one. Immediate spin cross match. Number two, full cross match. Full cross match using tube cross match, gel cross match, or solid phase cross match. Number three, computer cross match. I will start with an immediate spin cross match. Immediate spin cross match is traditionally the fastest and the easiest cross match. You will mix the donor red blood cells and the patient plasma, spin, and read the reactions. The cross match is only checking ABO compatibility. Immediate spin cross match can be used for patients without antibody or history of antibody. We also use immediate spin cross match with full cross match for patients with antibodies. What is a full cross match? A full cross match is a process that go further beyond immediate spin cross match to ensure red blood cells compatibility with the recipients. Full cross match can be done in all three methods, tube, gel, and solid phase. You would need the donor red blood cells and patient plasma just like immediate spin cross match. The amount varies depending on the methods. Here are some pros and cons for each method of full cross match. Tube cross match. Pro, can see reactions in immediate spin, 37s, and Coombe phase. You can see RULO, help with eliminate co-antibodies interference. Con, least sensitive, time-consuming, highly rely on technician skills. The reading could be subjective. Gel cross match, pro, faster than the tube cross match, more sensitive than tube cross match. Con. Cannot say if it is LULO, you only see the results in the Coombe phase. It is also subjective. Solid phase cross match. Pro, the most sensitive methods for full cross match. Automated, less subjective. Con, because it is highly sensitive, the fall positive is sometimes identified. And only see the results in the Coombe phase. Once you finish gels or solid phase cross match, you will have to also perform immediate spin cross match for the patient with antibody or history of antibodies. That's all for cross matching that the CLS would physically be performing or processing the cross match. Now today, we have computer cross match, which has become more widely used in recent years. Computer cross match is strictly used for patients without antibodies or no history of antibodies. 
we would randomly select units from the stockpiles that is ABO compatible and cross match it to the patients. The computer is the one who is verifying that the units is ABO compatible with the patients. Unlike immediate spin or other type of cross match, the CLS is the one who verify that the units is compatible with the patients. The benefits of computer cross match is that it's the fastest and the cheapest way. What do I do if my cross match is incompatible in immediate spin? You will check the unit types and the patient type, making sure that you are cross matching the right patients and that the unit's blood type is compatible with the patients. If you got the wrong units from the shelf, put it back, get the correct units, and repeat the test. If you look at your units and it is the correct, retype the patient samples that you are using for the cross match. After confirming that the blood type for both donor and patients are correct, you may have to perform an antibody workup to further investigate and making sure that antibody is not the root cause of the incompatibility. Some of the reasons that the immediate spin would be incompatible are ABO incompatible, co-antibodies, or RULO. What if the full cross match is incompatible? You will have to make sure that the unit you selected for your cross match with your patient is antigen negative for the antibody that your patient has. This could be very difficult, especially when your patient has multiple antibodies. I explain how to calculate how many units you need to screen for antigen negative in my previous video already. Please check it out at the end. That's all I have for today. Did I miss anything? If you have any questions, please let me know. I'm more than happy to answer them. If I don't know, I will try my best to find out for you. Also, keep in mind that the information I put together here is the general practice at the moment. As time change, certain practice may change and different institutions may have different policies. So please keep an eye out for that. If you like my video and think it's helpful in any way, please share it with your friends and I shall see you all next time. As always, remember, your blood tell you the story of your health. Thanks for watching. Bye.